Yeah, I've always been a, uh, always been a good scorer, like, all my life. But really just my mindset really changed in the eighth grade. Like, just be that, you know, had that killer mindset to keep scoring, keep scoring. Because when I was younger, I would get 20 points easy, then I will just back off and let my other teammates, you know, try to get their points and stuff. I would, like, just fade off in the corner and just be, you know, chilling. But I really got the mindset to keep attacking, keep going in eighth grade. So I'd probably say my my mindset is the main thing that changed for me to, you know, to be the bucket getter I am right now. And obviously, you know, the EYBL stuff, all that's cool. <laughs> LSU, that's cool. I, I, I really averaged 25 at LSU, but I got hurt one game in, like, the first minute of the game, like, the first two minutes. So I don't know why people put that 23. It's really 25, but it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Do you feel like you still had a chip on your shoulder still going 27? Because, yeah. like, it's just funny, like, listening to how people used to talk when you were coming out of the draft. Everybody knows your bucket. Mm -hmm. And I, I, don't, I don't, I didn't really understand why people were like, oh, yeah, we know he's going to score 20, but he still goes to 27. It didn't really make sense. Does that not make sense to you, too? Like, thinking about it? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, uh, I feel like it's just me talking about myself. I feel like the goalpost always moves for me from everything I've watched. Like when people now score all these points, it's all praise. But when I used to do it, score all the points, it's, it's always a knock. Oh, he can't play defense. Oh, he doesn't pass. But when I see other people doing the same thing, it's praise. So obviously the goalpost moves, but me being me, I don't care. I don't really look at stuff like that. I just know what I do and what I bring to a team and how I was appreciated on the team. So really just staying true to myself and not letting, you know, trolls or anything get in my head about stuff like that. So. But yeah, obviously, you know, the draft, obviously, I still play with that chip on my shoulder for sure, even now. So whatever it is, I just try to, you know, every team that, you know, picked ahead of Brooklyn, I just try to go out there and, you know, try to kill them every time, no matter who the team. So just try to show everybody they made, made a mistake. But, you know, it is what it is. Everybody made their decisions. But I just want to keep helping Brooklyn win and keep doing the right thing. So that's it.